Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager. We're on episode 45. We continue on with our playthrough. Uh, Motwa Murray, now 60th in the rankings. She's again a one seed for a smaller tournament. But this time, I even pushed a little bit lower. We're going down to an international 80. Let's see if she could actually come away with a tournament win because she's been the one seed multiple times lately and then still lost and usually somewhere in the first round or two, not even you know, the finals or anything like that. So bumping her down a little bit more, hopefully, is enough to get her uh, potentially playing through. The the five seeds rank 218, three seed 211. I mean, we're way ahead in the rankings. She should be winning this comfortably, right? Already done with the quarterfinals, and this is the closest match she has had. She has been winning quite comfortably against these lower ranked players. Uh, so three for three so far. Semi-finals is the first time she's even played one of the seeded opponents, and again, it's comfortable. 6-2, 6-0. Only 20 winners, but they only played 80 points. And looky, looky who we have in the final. It's Elena Ita. She's the four seed here. She's only ranked 216th. That's really low for her. She She needs a performance more than we need a performance in this one, but at the same time, we need a win, so hopefully we'll take care of business against Ita. They've never gone head-to-head -head before, and it was certainly close. Ita gave us a run for our money. She wins that second set in tiebreaker fashion, uh, but we do come out ahead. It was comfortable in the first set, but then Ita really, really made things tough the rest of the way. Three double faults out of 217 points played. That's certainly good. 58 winners. That's fantastic. Uh, 31 unforced errors is, I think, the reason why this stayed close. Interesting tournament setup here late in July. Uh, we're in Lexington, Kentucky. Been there numerous times. Many, many times. Uh, I was stationed at Fort Knox, Kentucky when I was in the Army. But anyway, Mama Murray, the one seed. She's now in the top 50 in the rankings. 32 in the field is all. But there's four very key key players at this one and they're all seated in the top five seedings for this tournament so Montwell Murray the one seed Elena Ita former player five seed Nakunye is here one position above Ita in the rankings and a four seed and then Ayala is the two seed at this one so we have four very very key players all in those top five seedings but of course three of those are in the upper half of the echelon so we very well have could have to play our way through one or two of them either in the quarterfinals or semifinals on our way if we ourselves get there with these four here it would be incredibly disappointing if one of them doesn't come away with the win even if it's Ita for that matter it would be a disappointing if it wasn't one of them wow one round gone by and three out of the four are eliminated Ita, Nakunye, Ayala all out now it's up to just us uh, pressure's on I have to win this thing I mean there is no excuse for us to have four of the top five rankings in this tournament and not come away with a win and it's only the round of 16 and we're already going solo from here on out and we barely get through the second round even as much as i want to immediately go into our next youth and scouting center upgrade as we are now on level five I, i'm gonna hold off uh, eight hundred thousand is a lot now yes we have two and a quarter mil but we don't know how much the business center upgrade is going to cost and it's going to be done in three weeks so i'm going to wait the three weeks take care of that first and then move on to our next youth and scouting center upgrade once that's been established but we're approaching three balls now so our, our global profile is rising pretty fast right now uh, we have unlocked a third slot though for scouts so i immediately want to get in and hire somebody else and then we'll continue on with that tournament where the pressure's on i i feel like it's a must win Quarters were comfortable, but the semis, not as comfortable. The two sets we won certainly look comfortable, 6-2 and 6-2, but that middle set that we lost 3-6 was anything but. Only 15, uh, sorry, 18 unforced errors. But the opponent only had 12, so they were pretty clean. We did ultimately have more winners, but interesting match. Just that it wasn't 
as comfortable as it looked like it could have, but it looked like our opponent just played pretty well. The one player that was in the top five rankings uh, wasn't one of my own or former players. Uh, Babel is the one we actually go up against in the final. We have a significant advantage in terms of ranking and probably quality, uh, but this is the one match that isn't a given, and we've at least made the final, but I still feel pressures on this. This should be a win. <laughs> Babel's going to take the title, though, 5-7, 4-6, and we come out the loser with only 12 unforced errors. 43 winners. How? How have we done this? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Okay. Uh, shocking. I To say the least. Shocking. We did not play poorly, yet we were beat. I think I scouted Babel a while back. Uh, she was okay. She was a decent player, but certainly no Motwa Murray. And we just added a new scout, Olivia Sanders. Uh, she's a fifth tier in terms of reputation. I now have a 3, 4, and 5, so we're steadily getting better with each new hire. A little bit better than the last player evaluation is a 16, which is pretty good. Ayala bounces back from her first round loss with a 80-level tournament victory the very next week. And we're in another 80-level tournament for Montgomery, and we're straight to the final can we rebound this time with a tournament victory? We do. 6-4, 6-1, 10 aces this time, 34 winners, just 12 on four stairs. That sort of play is, I think, something that's going to carry her to the higher levels than even what we were able to do with Kassin Seva, as we're, all, I think we're a little further along in development. Amazingly, that was just her second 80-level tournament victory. She's got one 115 and 1, 140 tournament victory. That's four career titles. We've done two of those. So pretty solid considering how good she already was. We've brought her up, uh, what, a full star? She was two and a half, and then almost immediately we brought her to three stars, and she's now at three and a half. And the, the development is solid. We've really brought up some of her lower attributes. Of course, that lob still needs to come up, but... Uh, she, she's coming along already, and she's doubled her career win total in seven and a half months. So uh, her fame also, her fame is up to an eight now. So she is making a bit of a name for herself. Uh, of course, we need to start playing her higher than the 80-level tournaments, but I think that was good for the morale, and then we're going to start bumping her back up. And we pick up in the round of 32 in a 280 tournament in New York. Uh, the second round looks pretty difficult. Ayala went out in the first round. Nakunye went out in the qualifiers for this tournament, so we've already gone deeper than uh, our counterparts on the team, and this is going to be a difficult ask to get beyond the point where we're at right now. 3, 6, 5, 7, we are out. Four double faults. Ouch on that part. Big time ouch. Only 29 winners. Clean. 15 unforced errors. Uh, the opponent wasn't terribly clean, but she just had us beat dead to rights in terms of just being a better player and putting more balls away for points. All right, this is a big one that I've been waiting for. The business center upgrade now complete 407,000 per month. And only just over one and a half million for the next upgrade we're up to three full stars as well and we can immediately begin on this one it's going to jump our revenue by another 200k dang dang uh, i think this tops out at 10 levels but i'm not sure so we're, we're working on level nine now uh, it's going to take a full year to complete but look at that, we still have just, 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 just enough in terms of finances. Uh, it's actually even slightly comfortable to immediately go into the Youth and Scouting Center next upgrade, to go into level six. Uh, we already have three scout slots, so this actually is not going to impact that directly. It'll take nine months, it'll be done a few months before the uh, next business center upgrade is complete. 
but let's go ahead and get that on the go anyway, even though it's sort of a meaningless one. It's a step to the next stage where we get to four scouts, but with three scout slots, I think we're going to really start to reel in uh, those scouting reports at, at a much faster rate now, and, and that's going to make it possible to maybe jump over to that sports center upgrade uh, next and it's not going to take us long to get 420k when we're bringing in 400,000 a month. And we're in New York for the U.S. Open. Our opening round is against Switek. Ouch on that part. Big time ouch as we've moved up to 45th in the rankings, but we're probably going to get knocked off here right away, even if we do get past this one. We're looking at somebody... Uh, with an almost identical ranking to us in the next round and potentially you know somebody even better in the round after that uh, well compared to these two anyway not compared to Switek, but I don't think we're gonna get past Switek. we're not quite that good Ayala uh, she got a better draw she's got a chance she's got Ritsky 0 for 3 lifetime against Switek. is that gonna be 0 for 4 it is we win three games in all three sets, but we lose all three sets. 33 total winners, only 15 unforced errors. Switek just 15-8. She's just too damn good. Art Season 2 coming to an end. Nakunye, six tournaments, only three wins in those, so her ranking stays the same. Ayala moves up 30 spots into the top 100, comfortably into the top 100. Seven tournaments. She won one of those, 11 wins in 17 matches. It's a pretty good stretch. And Mama Murray moves up from 60th to 45th. She got two tournament victories. She got 15 wins out of 18 matches uh, competed in. She did a couple major tournaments, and then she did some minor tournaments, and that mixed result wound out pretty good for her barely the start of the month but we've already got the finances we needed i'm gonna go ahead and start making our push for more than just three uh, athletes in the academy so we're gonna start our upgrade what is this one gonna do for us player plus one and then it's gonna add a few coaching slots more training sessions available to us yes let's go for it seven months to complete 280 level tournament. Montwell Murray gets a four seed and a first round bye for this one. Nakudye came as well. She got knocked off in the first round though. Uh, our round of 32 matchup is favorable. So could be our round of 16. So this could be a nice deep run for us. First round's comfortable enough, even though it wasn't played that great. 28 winners, 14 unforced errors, four double faults. Round of 16, definitely still favorable. Let's see what she could do to continue on. 6-4-6-0 is comfortable. 33 winners this time. 15 unforced errors, keeping it fairly clean. Much better on the serves where it was 2-4 last time. It was 7 aces and 1 double fault this time. We're up against a pretty decent player in Allison Ritzke this time. The 8 seed, 67th ranked. Uh, we're looking at a difficult semifinal matchup, quite possibly in this one. So I don't know how much further we're going to get, but hopefully we can get out of this quarterfinal and into the semis. We do not, though. Uh, Ritsky takes the win. 1 6, 3 6, 3 double faults, only 19 winners, 16 unforced errors. Still relatively clean, but we just couldn't get the winners. We couldn't beat her we we don't have those skill shots and that's that's why that's what i've been training here recently is to get those skills shots a little bit better off so we can get more regular winners uh, the accuracy part has been taken care of so the unforced errors are way down from where they were at the start of the year uh, and so we're you know we're in a good place there we don't commit uh, too many errors and too many matches but we don't necessarily get winners all that often either we don't have a ton of power where we have accuracy and then we don't have a lot of skill in our skill shots the combination still makes us stumble a bit but i like playing cleaner matches it can get you more it can get you to be more consistent having the ability to hit winners is good as we saw with Kasanseva. 
Uh, but she was always error prone. Being that it is September, we want to keep a close eye on where our three uh, athletes are on their contracts, on their objectives. Uh, you can see Mont Murray is pretty dang happy. We're at 88%. The only thing is the Premier 1000. Uh, the whole second half of the year, there's only a single Premier 1000 tournament. She made it to the round of 64 previously. We need her to get to the round of 32. I don't know if she's going to do that necessarily. It's a pretty big ask, but otherwise we've already achieved everything. She should be content and stay. Ayala, meanwhile, also at 88%. She wants to qualify for the next gen finals. We'll see where she's at in the rankings for that. Uh, Nakunye, uh, only at 50%. Ranking wise, she's on track, but everything else is uh, not happening. She want, they, they want her to win a 160 or 80 level tournament. She's made the final, but hasn't won. Uh, national ranking, she needs to move up five spots. 1,000, first qualifying round. She just needs to go to the 1,000. So that's that's an easy goal, easy one to pick up. Uh, also, Grand Slam reached the 128. She made it to the third qualifying round. One more win, and she would have made it. So she's been close and close and is close, but hasn't achieved them. So at 50%, does that mean we're going to lose Nakunye this year? Maybe. It is green. Ayala is third for the next gen final rankings. That seems like a slam dunk for uh, qualifying for that one. So she'll be in good shape. Uh, usual suspects all over the uh, the top of the standings here. Uh, Kasanzeva, number two though, Ajieva leading those rankings. So I'm gonna have to take a look at her though. She has played quite a few more tournaments than Kasanzeva. Uh, Frifertova. Brian Moyer, I mean, Ita, all up there. Kachager, the same ones. So, all right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we should be wrapping the season up next time out and possibly getting into the new season. But my, oh, my, what progress we have made, especially in terms of the infrastructure this season. Really happy with some major improvements happening there and finances in such a positive uh, position that we're able to almost instantly turn around and reinvest again. I'm the Kathleen Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.